ูนะคะเริ่มเลยเนาะวีสตาร์ทโอเค so take comfortable position on your mat and uh, keep your back straight and you can keep the hands on the knees and close your eyes and before we start the practice bring your attention to your practice to yourself and set a good intention to yourself but during this practice set intention that you want to achieve good health in this challenging time you want to stay calm relaxed whatever it comes it is not going to be uh, very long like this very soon everything is going to be all right and we'll go back to normal life it is challenging time it is examination it is a test of everybody's patience and better times are ahead coming soon so set your intention that you will achieve patience peace good health it is good time to connect with yourself turning back to your home for some time stay with yourself so bring your attention to yourself focus on your whole body and focus your incoming and outgoing breathing for some time you can make little longer and slower breathing inhale longer and exhale longer also you can bring your hands in front together and because we are going to do sun salutation so in front of your eyebrows or in front of your eyes with closed eyes visualize or mentally create a picture of the rising sun early morning sun maybe you have seen sun sunrise so bring that picture bring that image in front of you with closed eyes and sun is the source of energy and sun is the source of life on this planet so visualize bring your attention to the sunrise and we'll chant three om sounds together so inhale deeply Okay, open your eyes, and now we'll do some warm up in the sitting, and then we'll go for some series. So everybody, make the finger lock like this in front of you, and take the hands to your head, 
yeah sitting taller keeping the back straight chest lifted and turn the palms up and stretch your body upward like you want to take your palms to the ceiling wherever you are sitting so just stretch and if your arms coming front just bring in same line with your ear or maybe behind the ear and stretch stretch maximum keep breathing naturally and just stretch little longer and exhale down and we'll go one more time inhale again turn the palms up and stretch again this time trying to go a little more taller so stretch stretch and stretch keep breathing naturally and exhale down we'll go one more time with the twisting so again inhale and stretch stretch maximum stretch keeping the arms in same line with your ear and looking in front not looking down so not going to tuck the chin keep stretching and now we'll add the sit so just turn to your right so twist to your right as far as you can but keep stretching up also and look to right side stay there for 5 4 3 2 one coming back and then stretch little more higher again and then we'll go to the left side so keep stretching and twist little left 2 5 and 1 coming back to center and then take the hands down and all the way to the knees we'll do one more twist so take your right hand to the left knee and left hand you can take it to back side and just make another twist so take the left shoulder back and looking back also to five counts so 5 4 3 2 1 then come back and we go to other side now going to the right side and take the right shoulder back and twist to 5 4 and 1 coming back to center and we'll do some neck movements so keep the back straight just shoulders loose and twist your neck to your right so like you want to move your chin over your right shoulder and shoulders in same place same line stay there to 5 4 3 2 and 1 then coming back and going towards left side like chin moving over your left shoulder to 5 4 Two, one. Coming back to center, and now we'll go up. So bend the neck back and take your head back. You can keep the teeth together so you feel nice stretch in front of the neck, and you can stay there again for five counts. So five, four, three, two. and one then coming back in front then all the way taking the head forward so like chin going to your collar bones and again stay there to 5 and one coming back to center and we'll just bend to side so now bend the neck to right side like you want to take your right ear to right shoulder but shoulders stay relax and down just ear reaching to shoulder not the shoulder to ear and stay there for 5 4 3 
three, two, and one. Coming back to center and all the way we'll go to the left side. So now ear reaching to left shoulder. Shoulders stay down and relax. Two, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's make a big circle from here. So take the head back all the way and then take towards your right shoulder and then chin to chest taking the head forward and again left side so make three circles again to right shoulder going front then left one more circle and right front and when you come to the left then we'll go opposite so now take the chin to chest coming front going to right shoulder all the way back then going to left shoulder again two more circle take your time not in hurry find your connection with the movement and when you complete come to natural and let's do some shoulders so now take your hands to your shoulders and both elbows coming together and we'll make big circle with the elbows yeah so now take the elbows all the way up and then taking them back as far as you can then all the way dropping down and bring them together again do two more times so up back and down together one more up back down together you may hear some sounds coming now going forward and back and all the way up then together again two more go move the shoulders we hold a lot of tension in the shoulders especially in this time we have a lot of mentally things going on and all accumulating in the shoulder joints all right let's do next so now take your arms up we'll do some more for shoulder stretch first stretch maximum and coming to grab the opposite elbows yeah keep the back straight and arms you can keep back not taking forward yeah so arms step back chest up and we'll stretch to side so move your both elbows to your right yeah your right side and stay there two five four three two and one and then we go to left so again stay there for five four three two and one come back release and then i will turn to side knock will be facing in front so we'll do next you can see now take your both hands at the back and make the finger lock yeah keeping the back straight and then roll the shoulders back like you want to bring your shoulder blades together and then make the finger lock without going forward not going forward yeah stay taller in the center and just lift the arms up as higher as you can and you can stay there for five four three two and one come back and we'll go once more yeah again sitting more taller and this time try going more higher and lift more two five four three two and one okay release then hands here and just roll the shoulders 
to loosen up and then opposite okay so now go for tabletop position so cat cow position so knock will go how uh, will we stand up so adjust your hand measure you can see the knock first put the elbows to the knees and just spread the palms and just move your one palm further your hands then come up so you will find your knees down to the hips and your hands down to shoulders and keep the equal gap uh, like a shoulder width apart your hands and knees hips width apart yeah and now we'll do cat cow so now inhale arch the back down and move the chest like you want to chest bring the chest between the arms and looking up to ceiling and then exhale move the head down and lift the back higher as much as you can like uh, hunching the back so again go inhale and push the back down chest coming between the arms and looking up and exhale chin going to the chest and back coming higher up let's go two more yeah inhale up go bend the neck and push the back down and exhale lift the back higher and chin going to tuck to the chest again one more inhale keep the elbows straight yeah not flexing the elbows and exhale Let's go one more inhale and this time we'll hold for five counts so push the back more down especially your upper back yeah the thoracic vertebras should go more down to five four three two and one then tuck the chin and lift this portion again higher higher thoracic position lifting higher to five four three two and one coming to the neutral position and we'll do one more twist here so now move your right hand between the center of the mat yeah and now left arm keeping it straight and lift it higher so like you want to bring the right arm and left arm in one line in the center and keeping the hips in same place don't move the hips to your left so again stay here five four three two and one then go back and now this time put the left hand in the center and right arm all the way up to bringing both arms shoulders in straight line hips in similar place again stay here to five four three two and one come back and then move the hands in same position like at cow position and we'll go for downward facing dog so now tuck the toes and move the hips up so like making your hips like peak of the mountain so move the hips up and try to press the heels down and here you can just loosen up the heels by moving heels up and down so loosen up your calf hamstring take your time just few times keep moving up down one by one or together one by one or together just move few times warm up the calf hamstring and keep moving hips higher so shoulders again shoulders open not squeezing not bringing close to the ears and keep moving keep moving and now here now slowly walk between the hands on to reach top of the mat and go forward and you can grab the opposite elbows and just allow the body to go forward and lengthen the spine going forward and then maybe you can move a little bit side to side right and left right and left let the gravity 
take you down imagine your head is heavy and it pulls your body forward and down go forward and then release the elbows and come all the way up and stretch the arms up and then take your both hands to your waist and bring the elbows back elbows back as much as you can and let's stretch the front body so keep the legs strong your hips should be squeezed to protect the lower back elbows going back and just take the chest higher up and looking to ceiling and just bend the back as far as you can you can drop the neck naturally not bringing any tension in the neck and stay there for five four three to squeeze the hips and one okay come back to center and then let's do little side stretch yeah before we go for the sun salutation so you can face this side and you can keep the feet hips wide open and just right arm up and stretch it stretch right side body and left side loose and just go comfortably as much as you can but keep the legs active equally pressing the feet to the mat to the floor and stay here to five you can keep the hands to the waist also four three two and one again come back and now the left arm up and stretch you can keep the right hand to the waist if you need otherwise you can keep the hanging and go and stay there again to five four three two and one okay come back and now everybody move on top of the mat and now we'll start the sun salutation yeah so this sun salutation are not going to be stanga vinyasa style it is the traditional the style of the sun salutation so we'll do in 12 counts every time yeah so let's start so you can keep the feet together and bring the hands in front so this is the beginning position so keep the hands together in front like a namaste namaskar position and let us start so inhale both arms up and stretch the body this time just to stretch up not going to bend backward stretch maximum and exhale we go forward this time first time do the easy one yeah not forcing so much so just go as far as you can and few breathings there keep lengthening the back taking the head down and now move the right leg back then right knee down and both hands in front if you need support you can put the under the knee like towel or if you have knee pad and just moving the hips forward and just look in front and stay there like five counts so five four this portion should go down yeah three two and one now move back for plank position so check in this position that your hips should not go higher than shoulders little lower is okay otherwise not should go higher and stay there for five four three two and one now drop the knee chest and the chin on the mat so this is called stang namaskara so eight limb staff pose you can count eight limbs two toes two knees chest both hands and the chin these are eight limbs touching to the mat and then exhale go completely to the mat slide the body going to the mat and engage the hips to do the cobra yeah so lifting the body towards until your navel region not going too much high this time elbows with the body not opening the elbows to side stay there again i will count five engage the back muscles to hold four three two one then tuck the toes and take yourself for downward facing dog so move the hips up and lengthen the back and push the heels down you can bring the feet together or maybe if you need little bit gap you can keep the gap also 
and just lengthen the back, lengthen the back of the legs and then move the right foot between the hands and then left knee down and again move the hips down forward and looking front and chest coming forward to five, four, three, two and one again bringing the both legs together so left one coming to join with the right foot and going forward again and lengthening the back going forward as far as you can and inhale all the way up stretching the arms lengthening the back and exhale both hands in front of the chest yeah so this is from one side and we will did the half round and now we do from other side to complete one round again go inhale both arms up stretch the body up again and exhale go forward as far as you can but keeping the legs straight then inhale left leg back this time and left knee down move the hips forward and looking front to five four three two one walk back for plank again and plank will hold for five counts again check your plank that your hips not going higher than shoulders and not dropping the shoulders down this portion should be lifted up so your shoulder blades stay very away from each other five four three two one again stang namaskara so dropping the knees first then dropping the chin and the chest down and elbows with the bodies yeah not elbow not going away then exhale go fully to the mat and then inhale cobra so not too high cobra navel should stay on the mat to five four you can engage the back muscles yeah three two one downward facing dog tuck the toes to take the hips to peak of the mountain and moving the weight from your hands to all the way to the hips and from the hips moving to the heels so shift the energy flow from hands to the heels and then move the left foot between the hands right knee down moving the hips forward again and we'll stay for five four three two and one step forward to bring the right foot with the left one and going forward again as deeper as you can and then inhale both arms going up stretching the body upward and exhale hands in front so we completed one round and second round with little bit change yeah so now we'll add the backward bending when we take the arms up so go again inhale arms up stretch make sure whenever you go backward engage the hip muscles and the legs should be tight and go backward as far as you can exhale go forward then inhale right leg going back again moving the hips forward and looking front then exhale going back for plank again checking the hips not higher than shoulders then inhale knee chest chin down exhale going back to the mat inhale cobra navel touching the mat yeah not lifting the navel shoulders going back elbows touching the body exhale downward facing dog again move the weight from the hands to the hips then to the heels and you can take few breathings here now right foot between the hands can inhale and move the hips forward just look front and pushing the hips down 
then exhale both legs together and going forward inhale arms up again and we'll go backward by inhaling and exhale hands in front so we'll do same same from left side again this round i'm not asking to hold so go again inhale arms up and going back exhale going forward inhale left leg back then dropping the knees moving the hips forward looking front exhale plank and then inhale knee chest chin down exhale going back to the mat engaging the legs and the hips to cobra lift to the upper body to the navel shoulders going back elbows touching the body and exhale to the downward facing dog few breathings here again you can keep moving the heels to open up the calf muscles the hamstring and left foot between the hands inhale and move the hips forward looking front and exhale both legs together and moving forward as deep as you can keeping the legs straight inhale all the way up and we'll go backward also and exhale hands in front okay third round we'll do with little bit changes yeah so go again inhale arms up and we'll go back all the time exhale we go forward and this time whoever can keep the hands going close to the mat or maybe you can grab the ankles yeah and take the body forward this time i will ask you to hold this posture five counts so taking the body forward if you can keep the knees straight keep the knees straight otherwise if you have legs are so tight you can keep the knees little bit flexed also like this yeah otherwise open the back of the knees if you can to five four three two one now inhale and take the right leg back and right knee down and this time take your both arms up and lengthen the side of the body move the hips forward and down and just you can look between the hands and stay here for 5 4 3 2 one both hands going down first then walk back for plank position again and again your hips should stay lower than shoulders not higher and then knee chest chin down you can inhale and then exhale going back to the mat and inhale cobra again yeah again make sure your palms pressing the mat yeah most of the time we make the gap between the palms so palms should press the mat and fingers should be spread and exhale to the downward facing dog move the hips higher shoulders open arms should stay away from the ears and heels going close to the mat okay inhale right leg between the hands and knee down and both arms up once more moving the hips up sorry down and stay there for 5 4 3 2 1 hands down stepping forward exhale you can grab the ankles once more to take the body forward again i count here for 5 so keep inhaling exhaling naturally and take the body close to the legs to 5 4 3 2 1 inhale arms up 
lengthen the back, keep the legs, hips active to go back. And exhale, both hands in front. From other side, same, same, yeah. Inhale again, stretch, going back. Exhale, going forward once more, we grab the ankles and we'll take the body, upper body close to the legs, if you can and stay there for five, four, three, two, one. This time left leg back. Inhale and take the left leg back, putting the knee down. One more time, arms up, lengthening the back and stay there once more for five keep moving the hips forward you can bend the also if you cannot keep the palms together you can keep this uh, open also to five four three two one again taking the hands down and walk back for plank position and making the good plank I already said many times your hips should not go higher than shoulders and stay I count here this time again to five four hope everybody is doing well yeah feeling strong and opening the body three two and one dropping the knee chest chin chown again for Astanga Namaskara position then exhale go fully to the mat and Activate the legs, hip muscles for cobra. Again, shoulders going back and just looking front and exhale to the downward facing dog. Press the heels close to the mat and move the hips up like making peak of the mountain by your sitting bones. And then left foot between the hands and knee down and moving the hip forward inhale both arms up and again you can keep the palms together if you can uh, otherwise open and move the hips forward you can bend the back also to five four three two one hands down and stepping forward to bring the legs together grab the ankles and fold forward again to five four three two and one inhale and all the way up with active legs active hips go backward and exhale both hands in front and then we'll go for fourth round right we have done three rounds so far very few very good because the body very open I yes my a lot. Uh, okay just see yeah so don't compare with the nook because yeah. she is flexible so you do what you can do right someone cannot uh, bend back what to do so yeah you can keep the support also like that also if you have especially lower back pain make sure whenever you go backward you engage the hip muscles keeping them tight or not going backward if you have the back pain just simply stretch up yeah ready for fourth round okay go and this time we'll modify a few things so again go inhale arms up and go back and exhale go forward inhale left sorry right leg back knee down we'll lift the arms again up inhale and go back as far as you can will not hold just go back and exhale go forward and plank then inhale drop the knee chest chin and then this time walk the knees more close to the body so lifting the hips more higher will try to open the upper back more you can keep the hands here or if you think you can you can spread the arms in front so it is called anahatasanaya you can adjust your body going little back and you can see the nice opening of the back so pushing this foot and down and you can 
move the chin to the mat or if you have the neck problem you can keep the forehead down also yeah so just like this also but keep pushing this one down like this and stay there for 5 4 3 2 1 then slowly take the body fully to the mat and then take the position for cobra and inhale we go for the cobra this time you can go little higher cobra so you can take off the navel from the mat but shoulders going back yeah elbows always touching the body not taking to the side and exhale downward facing dog again and in downward facing dog you can take few breathings move the heels close to the mat hips higher but shoulders arms stay from the ears away from the ears and then right foot between the hands left knee down once more arms going up and going back also as far as you can inhale and exhale both hands down stepping forward and exhale to take the body forward and inhale arms all the way up and same time keep going backward by engaging the hips and the legs and exhale hands in front from other side same same again inhale arms up go back exhale going forward as deeper as you can inhale left leg back and arms going up and going back also mo hips moving forward and down exhale both hands down and plank and from plank drop the knee chest chin and again walk the knees more close more close to the chest and again you can spread the arms in front and we'll stay there again to five four know your limit how much you can lift the hips and how much you can extend the arms and check your neck that you feel comfortable three two and one then slide the body completely to the mat and engage the legs and the hips to the higher cobra so again bend the back you can lift the navel but keep the thighs or pelvic area down to the mat shoulders going back and exhale downward facing dog hips up press the heels looking to the toes and lengthening the back nine left foot between the hands right knee down all the way going up and same time keep going back as much as you can exhale both hands down and step forward to bring the legs together exhale again to go deeper forward fold and inhale arms up stretch and go back and exhale coming to the beginning position and we'll go one more round yeah fifth number five okay <laughs> feels great Everyone yes <laughs> we have uh, 15 minutes so one more round sun salutation then we'll do the postures can do 50 minutes also <laughs> 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 50 minutes what 15 or 50 minutes <laughs> oh. okay let's go last round yeah so collect your energy and let's go for last round and go inhale arms up stretch go back exhale going forward inhale right leg back knee down both arms up and go back once more as far as you can and then exhale hands down to going for plank and inhale knee chest chin down again and this time again we'll open the upper back so walking the knees more close as much as you can and then extend the arms and this time we'll modify a little bit more so now you can try to bend the knees if you can you can bend the knees otherwise you can choose the previous option and if you can if you think go and grab the ankles and push the heels like you want to take the heels to the hips and stay there for five if you cannot do this one go for the previous round what we did 
to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release the ankles, take the legs down and take the body completely to the mat. Then cobra again. Inhale. Yes, you can do the straight arm if you can, but just keep the legs down, yeah, not going for the upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale for the downward facing dog. Press the heels down, hips moving up and shoulders open. And inhale, right leg between the hands and left knee down, arms up and go back as far as you can. Exhale, hands down and stepping forward and go forward as deep as you can. Inhale, both arms up and go back. And exhale, hands in front from the left side. Yeah, again, inhale, arms up, going back. Exhale, going forward, keeping the legs longer now, yeah? Now your hamstrings are open, you can try to keep the legs straight and go forward. And then inhale, left leg back and both arms up and same time go back as far as you can. Exhale, hands down and you can go for plank and inhale knee chest chin down and final again once move the chin sorry knees close to the chest and go and grab the ankles if you can otherwise choose the option the previous one to five four three two one release your ankles and go fully to the mat and legs hips engaged to the cobra little higher cobra you can make the arms straight but keep the thighs down and then exhale to the downward facing dog and you can do few breathings in downward facing dog to lengthen the back and the legs then left leg between the hands and right knee down inhale both arms up and going back Exhale, hands down and bring the legs together to forward fold. Yeah, going forward as deep as you can. Then inhale, both arms up and lengthening the back and go back. Exhale, hands in front. We'll should add should we add one more bonus round? Huh? One more bonus round? <laughs> Okay, because I want to, because uh, to make your core a little bit stronger. So just let's go one more round. Yeah, this time we'll add some more. So go. So now feet together and we'll add the chair. Yeah, so we'll modify more. So go hands down and go inhale. Both arms up and just stay in the chair for five, four. Everybody like to sit on the chair nowadays, right? Nothing to do much, cannot go out. So chair become favorite. Three, <laughs> two, mm. one. Then go forward and make the legs straight. And then right leg back. But this time don't drop the knee. We'll do modified warriors. So now bend the front knee 90 degree and do take the arms up. You can stay on the toes and just front knee bringing to 90 degree and stay there for five back leg very strong and straight three two one hands down and go for the plank and from plank this round everybody feeling stronger to do the chaturanga okay bend the elbows to take the body to chaturanga otherwise if you can drop the knee and chest chin also then try to go for up dog if you can do otherwise do the cobra very good 
and downward facing dog exhale right leg in front and left leg straight and the warrior this side modified warrior front knee 90 degree back leg stronger to five four three two one hands down stepping forward bringing the legs together and fold forward first and now slowly bend the knees taking the hips back like you want to sit on the chair and do the chair again and stay here again for five four three two one inhale and hands in front from other side right oh. again go chair one more last and again chair for five do little bit deeper chair yeah like taking the hips knees to similar level to five four three two one exhale folding forward inhale left leg back and again modified warrior stay on the toes and stretch front knee 90 degree yeah? back leg straight five four three Sweat a lot. Good. two <laughs> and one hands down walking back for plank again and from plank lower yourself for chaturanga otherwise you can drop the knee chest in upward dog or cobra do your option exhale downward facing dog to move the heels to the mat and hips higher to the ceiling and you can do few breathings here to lengthen the back then left leg coming front and both arms up to modified warrior once more to five four three two one hands down step forward to bring the legs together and go forward first yeah. no forgetting yeah <laughs> and then take the hips back to do the chair final chair yeah do the deeper one so taking the hips deeper down and stay here two five four three two one okay come up and hands in front and all the way down and do few breathings here inhale exhale little longer and deeper to cool down a little bit And in sun salutation, mostly we do too much forward backward bending and we have not done any side. So let's do a side bend. Yeah. So now open the feet. We'll do the triangle. So around three and three and a half feet wide. Yeah. And then turn the right foot to right side. Left one stays in the same place. You can keep the left hand to the west. Right arm take up to the ear yeah? and stretch it to making right side very longer keep the chest facing front and we'll go forward like imagine you want to touch something very far so keeping the right side body longer 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 and then you can move the hand to the ankle or to the shin bone or you can use the block also right and bring the shoulders in same line and your torso in same line with your right leg yeah then extend the left arm and you can stay here for five four three two and one in same position we'll do the parivrita trikonasana now take the left hand on the block or on the floor on the mat and turn the left foot little more in 
can see here. Uh, then now right arm moving up to make a twist other side. So, we just reverse it and again trying to bring your both arms shoulders in a straight line and trying to keep the both legs straight you will feel nice stretch to the outer right side of the hip and stay here to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 right hand down and coming back to standing and we will switch to other side. So, now turn the left foot out and then left arm up right arm you can keep to the hip and stretch the left side body then go forward to the left side and then again you can put the hand to the ankle to the shin to the block wherever you can bringing the body in same line with the left leg and then right arm up and again we will stay here for 5 counts. So, just lengthening this side also and moving the arm up and keeping the arm stretching up. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and now drop the right hand on the block on the shin or on the floor and move the right foot little bit in then left arm up and we make a twist. So, again both arms shoulders in one line both legs keep them active and stay here for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 hand down and coming up to standing position again and bring the legs together and now everybody Very comes fast. to sitting position a lot of sweat. <laughs> and in sitting we do one more twist then we go for next yeah so bring the legs in front yeah yeah this way you can do it and fold the right leg and keep the right foot to the left side yeah and then with left arm you can hug the leg or you can cross it just see what you can you can hug like this or you can hook the elbow or upper arm and then twist the body to right side so look back look over your right shoulder and making both shoulders in same line with the left leg if you can yeah so body become shoulders and the left leg become in one line if you can so keep moving the right shoulder back to 5 4 3 2 and 1 come back turn your head back release the left arm and do from other side so bend the left leg cross over the leg and with right arm you can hug or maybe you can hook with the upper arm and the elbow and keep the hand in front like this and move the left shoulder back to bringing both shoulders and the right leg in one line to 5 4 3 2 and 1 release the posture and then everybody can lie down on the mat and in lying down position just hug your both knees bring them close to the chest and just squeeze the knees squeeze the thighs bringing them to the chest and once you can touch the chin or forehead to the knees Pawan Muktasnaya to release the tension from the lower back and upper back stay there for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 release then stretch the legs and then time for Shavasana yeah, I give you 2 minutes time to relax or if you want you can do longer also but we will do here 2 minutes then we will be closing the class. So, in Shavasana usually we keep the legs apart should be gap between the legs and your arms also should be away from the body not with the body and your palms facing up to the sky or the ceiling. And keep the back of the head down not turning the head to side or any side just keep facing up 
and in Shavasana the purpose is to loosen all the controls dropping all the tensions so during the practice we engage the body in different part but in Shavasana we don't engage anything so check your body that you not holding any muscle or any joint so move your awareness move your mind from head to toes to hands and just check your whole body that it's going to relaxation checking your legs not having any tension checking your arms and hands not holding any tension checking back muscles abdomen chest not holding any tension checking your shoulders they are going down not holding up dropping all the tensions from shoulders checking your neck neck muscles relax and check your head that head muscles also relax and at the end check your face that not holding any tension on the forehead not pressing your eyelids with each other eyes are closed but no pressure between and check your teeth that you are not pressing not holding not clenching any tension between so whole face relax whole body relax Your breathing should be normal, not controlling your breathing also. So no effort in the breathing, no effort or control in the muscles or the joints. So you let go all your voluntary control. Now we will be coming back from Shavasana. So now you can gently move your toes, your fingers becoming aware and then slowly you can turn your body to your right side from side you can just take support of the hands and come to sitting. And in sitting position you can keep your eyes closed again keep the back straight and now we'll close the class so we'll conclude here so bring the hands in front of the chest again and we'll chant three times om again and last three times shanti shanti yeah so inhale deeply uh.
शांति 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 your head down and be grateful for today practice to yourself and all the energy around and people supporting you to stay home and gently open your eyes thank you